Welcome back, you guys. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. Now, listen, y'all know the saying, say what you mean, mean what you say, right? Well, this energy, if y'all see some smoke, that's some little sage right there, okay? This energy that I'm feeling is say what you feel, feel what you say. Because somebody is in love and they're not saying anything, okay? I don't know if they're waiting on you to say something. This could be your energy. Y'all know. Flip the shit around. I don't know if this person's waiting for you to reach out or what. But it's like these feel feelings are mutual. Um, I think you guys are stuck in your head. The both of you. Because y'all feeling the same, but ain't nobody saying shit. You hear me? So let's see what's going on, spirit. These folks sitting right here in love and ain't saying nothing. Why? There it go. Tools with the partnership. Spirit, what's going on? Divine Holy Spirit and sisters of the highest white light. I ask that you come in and allow me to channel the energy surrounding my collective. There it go. Okay. A calm inner peace fills my soul. This must be at the out talk. Cause ain't nobody talking right now. But this is what spirit is saying will happen once you do that. Cause I really feel like you're stressing. You know, with this nine, I'm getting the nine of swords with this nine. What's the nine of swords? Staying up late at night, stressing, can't sleep. Constantly thinking about this person. Because your motherfucking ass is in love. Either you or this person. But I really feel like this is a mutual energy. Okay? And I feel like y'all don't know. The reason y'all in the nine of swords is because you don't know how the other feels. You're not sure. It's like you're not listening. Either of you are listening to your intuition. Excuse me, because your intuition is telling you this your person, right? The the feelings mutual, but they haven't confirmed it, cause I need one of y'all talking, okay? So spirit is saying once y'all release that, say what you feel, feel what you say. Once you release it, a calm inner peace will fill your soul. Period. Okay, spirit. So let's see. First, what's crying in this reading? What is crying in this reading for these lovebirds? want to play what's that song called i ain't gonna do that not today okay spirit what's going on what is crowning this reading for my collective please and thank you spirit <clears throat> okay envy don't do it i'm telling you what that is right now you guys are in love with each other, right? I got these strong feelings. This, this chemistry is undeniable, but neither one of you are saying anything. Somebody's getting jealous thinking that somebody's with somebody else. That's what that is. That's all it is. Bottom of the deck, love. I told you. Y'all don't be listening to me, man. You don't be listening to me. Damn. So somebody getting jealous thinking that somebody, thinking that the other one maybe is... Dating, the, dating someone else or uh, seeing someone else, whatever, okay? But the bottom of the deck is love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. But there's some envy going on. Because y'all ain't opening your damn mouth. It's, oh, Lord have mercy. Let's get one out of here, spirit. Okay, it's chaos and conflict going on. Because this is a, a situation that was fated to happen. And ain't nobody saying nothing. Y'all know what happens in those situations, don't you? Spirit come in and hit that tower on your ass. Then you be sitting somewhere looking crazy. But that calm inner peace will fill your soul. So I feel like these feelings are going to come to the forefront. Either you do it willingly or that tower going to come. Yeah, Spirit say clean this shit up. Clean it up, damn it. Sitting around here in love and ain't saying shit. Bottom of the deck. For justice. If you clean this energy up and speak up, there will be justice. To be fair. Come on, you guys. And I feel like this is a blessed connection. That was destined to be. Oh, my God. Little lovebirds. Scared to open their fucking mouths. All right, Spirit. Let's get some... Hidden truth oracles. Let's get some hidden truth off in this thing. Maybe we can get a deeper look at why ain't nobody saying that. You got envy and love. Clean it up and to be fair. 
Spirit, what's going on? Please and thank you, Spirit. What's going on? Y'all know that's my favorite little. I don't know, whatever. Spirit, what's going on? Oh, whoa, whoa. One card flipped over. I wish I could share my good news with you. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody talking. So good things could be happening in your life or happening in this person's life. They're in love with you, period. And they want to share their good news with you, but ain't nobody damn talking. Okay? I just heard somebody separated themselves from another situation. And they're wanting to share that news with you. That ain't for everybody, but it's damn sure for somebody. Okay, what else, spirit? Oh, okay. Uh, We need to let go. Well, hold on. We need to let each other go. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. I got to clarify that. Finding out the truth crushed me. Ooh, we stop and tell y'all what it is. Because ain't nobody saying nothing. Somebody's like getting into the energy of moving forward. That's probably why this envy out here, this person probably did see you with somebody else. They said that the finding out the truth crushed them. It's because ain't nobody said nothing. Oh, my God. We need to let each other go. Mm, mm, mm. So this could... Mm, wow. So for some of you guys, this is a situation where either you or this person was in another connection. Um, I'm feeling like it was a, a marriage, okay? Um, neither Y'all knew the damn feelings was mutual. Neither one of you said anything. Neither one of you said anything trying to keep your morals and integrity, okay? Um, but there's no way to hide when love calls your name. It just ain't no way to hide. But I get it. You're trying to, trying to keep your integrity, so you, you're feeling like you need to let each other go. And I feel like the one who was married is the one who has this envy because maybe you got tired of waiting for this person this person never confirmed you knew your intuition is telling you right and the chemistry is there energy don't lie okay people lie but energy don't lie but this person never confirmed to you how they was feeling and so you could have moved on and somebody found this shit out and they crushed oh wait but i feel like there's an opportunity for you guys to bring this thing together the spirit say you can clean it up uh oh, you can clean this energy up, and there will be justice. To be fair is my justice card, okay? So, baby, damn, damn, y'all. I mean, love. Like I said, ain't no way to hide when love is calling your name. Because you're going to go on in life. I don't care if you have moved on somebody else. The kind of chemistry that I'm talking about right here, you're going to always be thinking, what if? That's why spirits say, when you, because you look, you're in the nine of swords energy. Both of you are. Even if you're in another relationship, even if this person's still in their current, which I don't believe they are, somebody want to share some good news. And I feel like the good news is they have freed themselves. But I feel like they done freed themselves and you done moved on. So now the, finding out the truth of that information has crushed somebody. Because like I said, the energy don't lie. The, the love is real between y'all, okay? But Spirit is saying, this it's going to come back around. You're going to run into this person or something. This is going to come back up. The opportunity for y'all to clean it up is going to present itself again because I feel like this is a connection that the Most High is it, it, destined to be, okay? It's destined to be. And Spirit is saying, a calm and a peace will fill your soul. Once you set your soul free, shit. Both of y'all in other relationships, right? One, um, actually, I, I really feel like this person has freed themselves. They're the one that's in this envy. The one that freed themselves from another relationship is in this envy. You may be dating someone else, but you're not really, you're happy with that person, but you still got that little thought in the back of your head. What if? You catch yourself at work just daydreaming. You know, what if me and so-and-so could have got together? We probably could have did this, probably could have did that. And that shit's gonna, it's gonna be there. But Spirit is saying y'all going to have the opportunity to clean it up. Watch what I tell you now. Okay? So let's see. What's going on? What I want to use, Spirit. Let's use these. All right. All right. Okay. 
Okay, Queen of Cups. I fucking told you with the Two of Cups. Y'all think I'm lying? You still think I'm lying? Okay. Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. In love. Destined. Two of Cups is destined, man. Real shit on both ends. Told you somebody in love. Y'all be... Oh, Lord. This, and this is a divine... Thank you, Spirit. I told you this was something that was destined to happen. The Most High God said this is a divine partnership. So I really don't care who you with. You always going to think about this person. That's why spirits say, go on clean the energy up. Go on speak your truth. Tell this person how you feel. So I'm talking about somebody is watching fuck out your ass with a bunch of envy. Because they either see that you have moved on or they done, because there's no communication, they done told themselves that shit or somebody else done told them that. You know how little hating energies be. You know, somebody could have been hating on y'all connection anyway and say, oh, yeah, Ashley dating somebody else. And so anyway, this person is, they jealous. They jealous because the love that they have for you is real. Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, man. It's 11-11, just as I looked at the phone, 11-11. And I said y'all y'all intuition was telling you this. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive. You knew. Because energy don't lie. Whenever y'all around each other, whether y'all try to keep it on a little, how's the weather today? It don't matter. That energy is there. That chemistry, that passion is there, and y'all can't deny it. Have to go home to your little sorry spouse. It's like, damn, why are you still here? You know? Anyway, what else is going on? I'm getting a little pride and ego, too. I tell y'all all the time, pride keeps us from living our best life. You got somebody right here you in love with. You got a divine partnership. And you ain't opening your damn mouth because of your pride and ego. And y'all know who I'm talking to. What else, spirit? Okay, this popped out. What's that? Two of Swords. Stalemate. I know it. And I just want everybody to be happy. You know, when you find love, you have found a great thing. And when it's mutual... Oh, my God, man. Shit, because when you're happy, when your soul is happy, I feel like you can conquer anything that life throw at you. You can. Love ain't standing on every corner. And when you find it and it's real, man, when it's real, you don't have to force shit. Like I said, when you come around this person, y'all can keep it simple and plain. Oh, it's been raining all week. But that shit be right there. That passion, that chemistry, the energy. The energy do not lie. And also, when y'all look in each other's eyes, it's different. It's almost like time stops. It's almost like uh, y'all don't even know what the hell going on around y'all. Y'all may y'all may just lock eyes just for a few minutes to acknowledge each other. But when you do, it's almost like your soul is looking into their soul and time stops. And so why keep putting yourself through this? I know you're trying to, you know, keep your integrity and all this, that, and the third. But the Most High, Most High God said that this is a divine partnership. This was supposed to happen. And it's going to come around again for y'all to clean this shit up. Either you're going to do it on your own or you're going to get a towel. Don't get the towel, okay? Don't get the damn towel. Okay, what else, Spirit? Please and thank you. I like this energy. Okay, I do. What's that? The magician, baby. Manifesting like hell. Raindrops falling on my head. Okay, that's for somebody. Manifesting. Okay. Y'all got everything y'all need to manifest the love that y'all want. Y'all know who it is. That's what I'm saying. When you found love, you found a good thing, man. Everything else just gonna follow. Shit, love can make... You can go to work and have the worst boss, the worst co-workers... Everything else can be fucked up, but you know you got that real love, and it just, oh man, it just make it, it makes all the difference in the world. When your soul is happy, when you are genuinely happy, everything else is, you can, you can handle it. You can handle it. You hear me? Love conquers all. The fool, somebody getting off in that fool energy. Oh, yes, and the fuck they is. Activation. Somebody said, I can't do it no more. I can't keep walking around this green earth knowing that my love is out there. Possibly not being treated the best they could. Because whoever this is that's in love with you, they know that they can give you everything you deserve. And vice versa. 
they, they wouldn't even be having to try. It's not, they don't have to force anything. That shit just, it would just happen. Because that's some good love on the soul level, man. You'll find that every day. Hey, spirit. I'm feeling like one of y'all moved on because y'all felt like y'all didn't have no other choice because the other person wasn't opening their mouth. Or maybe at the time the other person was still in another connection. But it's some good news that they want to share with you. And I truly feel like that good news is they are single. And jealous as hell because you done moved on, baby. Damn. I hate that for y'all. Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> This is a connection that's a, a work in progress, okay? Somebody want to put put in that word with the Eight of Pentacles. Great detail. Look at the detail he's taking to draw that face. Somebody wants to love you with great detail, man. <laughs> that's that kind of love right there. Mm, mm, mm. Love you even though your breath stank in the morning. That's that good love, man. I'm talking about for real. Because I don't do stank, bruh. I got to really love you to even hold conversation with you. Just as soon as you open your eyes and you start talking without brushing your teeth, I got to really love you to sit there and listen and conversate again and conversate back with you. So that's this this kind of love right here. That stank your breath love, you know. Mm. What else, spirit? What else is going on? Okay, so you have the world. Cycle completion. This cycle is about to be completed of you guys not being together, not talking. Because like I said, energy don't lie. And that shit going to build, 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 build. You got the magician with the fool, with the world. Shit about to go down with the justice card. Come on, man. Two of cups, queen of cups. Baby. Hey, hey. What else, Strength. I knew it. And the king of sword. The king of sword about to come tell their damn truth. You could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with Leo. But either way, okay, this person's getting up the courage to come and speak their truth. What's their truth? That they in love with you. That ain't no play play thing, man. People throw love around like it ain't nothing. This is someone they've been knowing, they've been holding on to it for a long ass time. Oh yes, and the fuck they have. They've been holding on to that shit for a long time. But this person, they could have been out of balance with their heart and with the, with their mind. You know, trying to keep their integrity. This could have been a third party situation. Um, you guys could have walked away from each other. But the love, the love never went nowhere. In fact, it got stronger. The more you the distance made that shit, I'm talking about for real. Okay, gave the man the strength that he need to come in here and speak his damn truth. This could be you, but somebody finna come and speak that damn truth. What's that spirit? Queen of Pentacles. That's you nurturing and taking care of yourself. Six of Wands. Victory and success. I'm telling y'all, man. Bottom of the day. Lovers. Twin Flame Connection. Okay? Y'all don't be wanting to listen to me. And then look at that shit right there. The Wheel of Fortune. I told y'all in the beginning that this is a connection that's destined to happen. That's why spirits say, clean it up. Spirits, I'm tired of blessing these fools with real connections. And they just sitting right here. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let me stop. Let me stop, okay? And then you got the damn sun. Best card in tarot. Happiness and abundance. This is a love that will continue to just keep giving. Just get better and better. You hear me? Oh, my God. I saw that nine of one. So, like I said, this could have been. Yep, and then what? Three of swords. That could have been a third party situation with this. But I think, I really, really feel like where there was three, it's going to be two. It's going to be two. And it's almost like, it ain't no almost. When you get with this person, you ain't looking for nobody else. That's it. This love right here, this is it. Two of cups, queen of cups. I'm like, <laughs> baby. Y'all are in love with you, and it's on both ends. Get out your ego for a minute. Because somebody's got some pride and ego issues going on. I know they do. I'm looking at the damn line right there. But they, look, they getting in their strength. I see eight of pentacles. The strength card has an eight on it. Y'all know eight speaks of abundance. The sun card speaks of happiness and abundance. This is a connection that keeps on giving. Oh, wow. I'm so happy for y'all, man. Because right now, somebody all in their damn head. I'm talking about for real. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> look, y'all got each other hard on a lot. It just, that's just what it is. Y'all have the key to each other's heart. And ain't nobody else going to be able to come in there and undo that. Because this is what the Most High God put down here. Okay? Y'all might not have even been each other's type at first. Like, y'all was attractive, but not maybe not the type of person that you would normally go after. But the connection is just sick. It's strong as fuck. I say people lie, but energy don't. Spirit say, say what you feel and feel what you say. Somebody feeling in love and ain't saying shit, but they will. Oh, yeah. Okay, old child. Look at that shit right there. Soul contract. Justice. With the 11 on it. Okay? Alright, y'all. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay? And I, So, like I said, this could have been a secret-ass connection. Could have been a third party. But I feel like this shit coming to the surface. Oh, yes, it is. It's coming to the surface. So, anything. Let's get some surrender cards. And then I'll let you guys go. Just know somebody about to come. And don't block it. I don't give a damn if you is married. Don't block this. Because I tell y'all all the time. Just because you married don't mean shit. People put pe And people going to be in my comments. If you married, listen to me. Okay? People put themselves with people. And then the most high God put people with people. So just because you married don't mean shit. It don't. If it did, spirit wouldn't be saying clean up the energy. Spirit about to give you a whole another opportunity to clean it up. You got justice out here twice with the will of fortune. This is a destined connection. So please do not get in my comments. Tell me, oh, they married. They shouldn't be doing it. Okay. Baby. Okay. Y'all know who reading this is. Y'all know who reading this is. Don't make it fit where it don't fit. This is a reading where there's a bunch of motherfucking envy and, and love going on because ain't nobody communicating because the, the feelings is mutual. You going home to somebody else, you physically there, but your mind way across town because all you can think about is this person and all they can think about is you being with somebody else. That's why you got the damn envy card. Spirit says it's going to be an opportunity for y'all to clean it up. I just heard, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy. What was that on the rug rats? Was it the rug? No, Ren and Stimpy. Y'all, listen, okay? That used to be my cartoon. He said, you ate the five million dollars? <laughs> you stupid rat. <laughs> Spirit, what need to be surrendered so I can let these people go? What need to be surrendered, Spirit? Please and thank you, Spirit. Ren and Stiffy. Oh, my God. Not today. It's too many. Spirit will need to be surrendered. Please and thank you, Spirit. Whoever this is, I'm happy for you, man. Like I said, when you done found real love, you done found yourself a good thing. Yeah. Being in love and that shit being on both ends, it allows you to take on life, man. You don't feel by yourself. Okay, so three cards slid out. I'm going to read these for you guys, and that'll be it. Baby, surrender to trust. Didn't I say somebody ain't listening to their intuition? Y'all intuition is telling each other that y'all feel the same. Somebody might be scared to come in because they don't know how the other one feel. Spirit says surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you got to do. Okay, take action, be confident, and know that you have chosen the right path. Because this was destined to happen. Okay, now, Spirit say, surrender to success. I said when you found love, you have found yourself a good thing. Surrender to success. Right, I also was talking about them eights. I said eight speaks about abundance. This card says, you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Okay, leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Because this is a love that's going to keep giving. You hear me? Okay, last card. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay, op stay open to all creative ideas, 
about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So with that, somebody might have to, you know, has it ain't it ain't even gonna be nothing that y'all got to do. This gonna be a little divine intervention thing that happened. Yo ass ran out of taco meat, had to go to the grocery store. And all of a sudden, he wants some string cheese. He ain't ate string cheese in five years. All of a sudden, he wants some. Both y'all here to the store at the same time. Boom, there y'all go. Y'all gonna have the energy. Some gonna have, y'all gonna have time to clean this up. You hear me? So, do me a favor. I don't, you think you just run into the store so you ain't gonna brush your hair? Brush your damn hair. You hear me? Because when you think you just run into the corner store and right back, that's when you see everybody and their mama. So brush your hair, throw on a little lip gloss, just in case. Because that's how this shit go come together. It's going to be something so stupid. You're in the middle of fried chicken, that good fried chicken, and you done ran out of flour. You say, okay, I got to go to the corner store because I don't feel like going all the way to the grocery store. I'm going to pay the little $3. I know it's expensive, but I'm going right here to the corner store. I'm coming right back. So you got your little house coat on? Uh-uh, baby, listen. You better, when you got that front door, you better act like you're going on a damn date. You hear me? Because you're going to run into this person. And you don't want to be. You don't want to have the baseball hat on. Like, oh, my God. Because this is the love of your life. Okay? This is the love of your life. A little cup of spritz of perfume. And go get the flower. Go get the flower. Okay? I love y'all. And I'm happy for y'all. Because this shit going to come right on together. Right when it's supposed to. Okay? The will of fortune is out here. The most high God had everything to do with this. But see, we have free will. It's like your intuition, their intuition, slapping both of y'all upside y'all head at night while y'all sleeping, and now one of y'all listening. So it's like spirits, like I put it here, I, you know, you can take the horse to the water, but you can't make him drink it. But spirit is saying, to be fair, they're going to give y'all one more time to clean this energy up. So there's going to be some kind of supernatural happenings. Y'all going to meet up, and y'all going to have the opportunity. So no, when you see this person again, don't hold back, man. Don't hold back. Say what you feel. Because I promise you, with this two of cups, queen of cups, the feeling is mutual. If you got it in your mind, I just want to tell this person I love them. Say it, man. Free yourself. Come in a peace will fill your soul. I promise you. You probably thinking, oh, he with somebody else. Listen, man. They thinking the same damn thing about you. They not opening up your they mouth because they thinking the same thing you thinking. Somebody got to break the ice. If you get the opportunity to say it first, say it. Somebody going to say it. Strength with the king of swords. Somebody going to come right on in this thing and say exactly how they feel. Okay? I love you guys. Y'all check out my homegirl on My Cards Tell. Capital M, capital C, capital T. My Cards Tell. Y'all go check her out because she be on point over there. Okay? She really in tune with spirit. Spirit really be dealing with her ass. She young, but she got a little old ass soul. I said, look at her. Looking like old grandma over there giving us the wisdom. I love her to death, y'all. I'm talking about for real. So y'all check her out and support her on that channel. All right? I love y'all. And like I said, I'm so proud of y'all for whoever this is. I'm so proud of y'all. Because when you done found this, you done found a good thing. For real. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. If you like the content that I create and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Support your girl. Click the bell so you get notified. Because my people ain't been getting notified, okay? Click the bell. And if this was your story, and you know, or you know if this was your story, go ahead and thumbs up the video. Mm.